Do you want to improve your backhand overhead technique and develop a backhand just like Daryl's? Then stay tuned because we've got some useful tips. So the first mistake we see people make, and this often means they don't get much power, is not bringing the racket back. So having a really short swing when they hit. This means we can't hit to the back of the court and our opponent can step in and look for the drop because it's got less disguise. So if you look here, Daryl's got his racket back roughly about his shoulder. This allows him to whip round and get lots of power when he wants to hit a backhand clear. This allows him to use his arm and his back to create a nice whip action. So the next common mistake we see people make is getting a little bit too close to the shuttle. You'll see here, he's hitting with a bent elbow quite close to him and this is quite restrictive. Doesn't let us rotate and come round with the arm and limits our power and control. What we should be doing is hitting outside of the body with a relaxed reach, as you can see here. That's gonna mean we can come round quickly and put our back, our arm, and use lots of muscles to get lots of power. The next mistake you can see here is facing where we're gonna hit. So if you look here, Daryl's facing forward and this means he's not rotating his body in the correct way and he's gonna struggle to hit anything else other than a drop. Where if you look at this example here, he's turning his back to the net. That again allows him to whip round and he's tracking the shuttle as he goes back as well so that you can time the shuttle when he gets there. So the next common mistake is dropping that wrist and having the racket flat. This is gonna mean we hit the shuttle into the net and make a lot of mistakes because we're too far away from it, where we should be having that wrist cocked back, as you can see here. This is gonna mean we can rotate the forearm to give us a little bit more power, a little bit more snap when we wanna hit out of that back corner. So this one, you can see quite a stiff arm gripping the racket really tight. This is not gonna give us much control. And you can see my shot went really high and I've got no rotation of the forearm. You know, cause that little bit of rotation with the forearm is gonna help us time our backhands. And when we want to, we can then punch out of the back corner. So if you look here, nice and smooth. You can see that racket head's going back, it's nice and relaxed and rotating as I hit through the drop shot. And it should look effortless. So I always say to the players I coach, if you're hitting your backhand and all your friends are watching you play and it looks effortless, then that's great. Okay, so the next mistake we see is people trying to have what I call a traditional backhand grip with a thumb on the flat of the racket. This means as we strike the shuttle, our strings aren't facing straight. And it's hard to get the wrist round to get the shuttle to go straight. You can see here from this angle, when I do try and get it straight, it just goes really high in the air. So what we wanna be doing, and you'll see from this next example coming up now, it's quite hard to see from this angle, but I've got my thumb on the bevel. And as I come round, the strings are gonna be facing straight. So for all our backhands, we do have to vary the grip a little bit, but the strings always want to face where we're aiming. And if you see from this angle, all my shots are going in a straight line. All right, this one's a little bit more obvious to see. So if you have a look at this freeze frame here, you can see that elbow is pointing up. And this is quite an old school technique, but it's going to mean our shots go really high and it's gonna be difficult, especially when we wanna play a drop shot, to keep it flat. Well, what we wanna do is have our arm nice and relaxed, and you'll see from this shot, the elbow is pointing downwards. This allows me to come round nice and flat for a drop shot, and if I want to get a little bit more power, again, it's gonna allow me to use that whip action with the arm to snap it and punch it out of the corner. Okay, so the next mistake, and we see this with a lot of the lazy players that we coach, is they try, they play everything on the backhand. So when that shuttle's in front of the body, or the contact points in front of the body, they'll still commit to playing a backhand. Where what we should really be doing 
is getting our elbow straight back and committing to that round the head. So that when that shuttle's in front of your body like it is here, then we should definitely be going round the head and not playing that backhand. So we're gonna have a lot more options and that ability to attack. Okay, our next mistake is with the follow through for our technique. And you see here how I'm dragging it down and you look where the racket finishes by my knees. This is gonna drag every shuttle down into the net and cause us to make a lot of mistakes. Where what I say for these is we should be coming round like we're stirring a pot and finishing with that racket roughly level with where we've struck the shuttle, as you can see there. It's finishing above my shoulder where I'm making contact. This is gonna allow me to keep the shuttle nice and flat and hopefully close to the net every time I want to hit, giving me a nice back end. I don't know what Daryl's doing here, he was meant to be filming the video. Click this video to see more.